Hey everyone, um, just want to do a quick video on uh, the Da Vinci Jr. This is not a review, this is just a kind of a, uh, I guess, a mod or a hack uh, somewhat to fix a specific issue that I was having. Now this is uh, kind of my first go around with 3D printers with filaments. Uh, I bought the Da Vinci Jr. just because I have very little space in the apartment. So I bought something that would fit a little bit neatly in here. Uh, at work, we deal with mainly bio scaffolding, so that's 3D printer for the cell and tissue world. So, somewhat familiar with this. Um, but one thing that I noticed with the Da Vinci Jr. was that the extruder head, um, whenever it travels uh, left to right, uh, the weight of the extruder head, when it gets to this side, causes this entire um, assembly to lean down whenever this is reaching that side. So I did the the uh, X axis calibration, I did the Y axis calibration, whatever you know calibration videos there are online. Um, looked at a few forums, but no matter what, uh, every single time I did it, I would always notice uh, this portion always leaning down due to the weight of the extruder. Um, so with the Z offset checking it, you know, I can get two pieces of paper through this side. Uh, when I go to this end, I couldn't fit those through or I was having a tough time. Um, so I adjust the Z offset, redo the calibration, uh, the adjustment where you undo the two screws here and put the power brick underneath and bring it down until it's tight and then tighten those two screws back up. It still wasn't helping too much. Um, did that several times. And I have somewhat uh, OCD with getting things very aligned and perfect. Um, so that was something that was kind of bugging me. So what I ended up doing was uh, putting a counterbalance type, like a system or whatever you want to call it, uh, into the unit. So as you can see, there's um, a belt that's attached to this assembly that's going up to the pulley and going back down to this counterbalance here that's on a rod that slides up and down. Uh, so what that does is whenever the extruder head travels to this side, it prevents this from sagging down and causing the print on this end of the, uh, the bed to be thinner than the other end or other issues that you know, people might be experiencing. So pretty much this going up and down makes the counterbalance travel uh, vice versa with this motion here. So I'll show you quickly. Um, I'm in the jog mode. So I'll jog it up. You can see it's pretty smooth motion uh, and another benefit of this that I saw was that before there were um, very very slight vibrations whenever the extruder head was on this end uh, and the print on this side of the bed was always rougher again I'm kind of a strictly stickler with uh, with things being perfect so to many people, it wouldn't have bothered them, but for me, just noticing that difference was kind of bugging me a little bit. So this, what this also does, it smooths out this entire assembly. So those vibrations are now completely gone, and I have a very smooth print, you know, all the way from the low end of the, the, the bed all the way up to doing something very tall. Well, not very tall, this thing can only do six inches, but still. Uh, it's smooth throughout, so I'm not running into those issues anymore. And when I'm doing the tests of sliding the paper, two pieces of paper here is the same as two pieces of paper here. I'm not having the issue of it rubbing slightly more on this side and being completely loose here. It's the same exact on both ends. So again, I'm sure people will come up with other kind of um, methods of fixing this. Uh, but this is kind of my attempt at doing it. So if it gives anybody ideas, definitely you know, try to do it for yourself and see what kind of results you get.